you can do. The, the burst that comes out from line is normally is already enough to kill anyone solo. Okay. But if he, he even has his, uh, has his allies um, nearby, that's going to be very, very powerful. Mm -hmm. So a bit of a um, pressure being applied. Dread, look at Dread. He's just like a freaking fearless man to come straight down right onto the Sentinel side. The Sentinel side retreating, retreating from that Tide Hunter until four of them actually group up. Now about to be five with Morphling coming back down towards that bottom lane. And um, DTS is still hanging around, ready to go. CM. Double A, he does have an Ogre Axe, so we'll live, we'll live a little bit longer, but Titan now comes in, wants to get the Ravage off, that one hits! Big Finger already, Puck takes a fall, they're fighting with the Nether Wards, Venice taking a lot of damage early on, but Morphling is now going to repair that, that that deficit, Wave, waves over the top, wants to get that Lion down, Luna coming in, it's the ulti, it hits, it hits perfectly right on top! Of the poor Morphling, who was just caught in the full brunt of it. Bouncing attack is not helping Sven out whatsoever. Stun goes out, not enough to kill CM, but the power share of the top is. Lines on very low HP as well. Sven puts out the roar, a little bit left over the top, but it's not going to be enough. One, two, I think that's three, in fact. Yes, it is for Light. He was there just killing everybody in the middle of it, and that is four heroes down for the Sentinel side, with the only hero to survive slash is a retreating Witch Doctor. Triple kill for Luna. That's very, very good. That's definitely what DTS wanted. Uh, the, the reason why Luna is picked is because she's just so damn powerful uh, in jungle fights when her ulti can hit many, many times on the enemy heroes and um, without being disturbed by creeps, so to speak. Good to see a save game coming in here. Looks like Dread was just lagging a bit. Uh, if he is pinging high, that would definitely explain a lot of issues which are happening with his ultimate. Um, or at least that first one, which was just not really there, but you obviously you saw it, that second ultimate which just popped off on that bottom lane. You, you probably couldn't have asked for something better. And you notice the focus fire on Puck too. They, as, as far as like heroes, they go, you know what, we've got to bring this guy down. It looks like they don't even care about Morphling. Not, not so he has actually caught that one, but Puck became their uh, main one to bring down. They, 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 they say he is going to be the biggest problem for them by the looks of it. I say by their actions. Definitely, definitely. Uh, since since Puck is the guy who controls engagements on Sentinel side, he's got his his massive AOE. Uh, if he if he gets his ulti up, it's difficult for the DTS side to fight, since they can't really chase and they can't really retreat because they're gonna go and get stunned repeatedly anyway. Mm. So doing bringing Puck down is very important and Lion is tasked with that which he does a, of which he does a very beautiful job to now uh, very good play by Jeet just killing that Puck instantly as I said voodooing first then impaling and then fingering instantly killing Puck before he gets any of his abilities out that's very important why not focus morphly well yes um, he's that carry but uh, during that, during a, a fight at this point, Morphling actually does not do deal the most DPS, so he's not the, the biggest threat to, so to speak. And moreover, if you focus Morphling, he's gonna just morph himself up. He's very difficult to kill. So why kill a guy who doesn't bring that much on the table, and is still so damn hard to bring down? And on the other hand, you have Puck, which who is a glass cannon, brings a lot on the table, but is um, fairly squishy to bring down as well. So. Yeah, I also want to point out the fact that Morphling, we're almost 20 minutes into this one, is still oh, Sven nailed on the bottom. I catch the end of the finger on the back of an impale. Puck wants to go, Aldi goes off, now the playmaker's going to have a go. He is Hex on the way through the frost and he is getting himself caught out. Calcors are being drained off before the Shackle Shot comes over the top. Another Ravage does pop off, trying to bring down the Wish Doctor on the top. Does so successfully, Puck retreating himself out while Morphling is now turned into a chicken. Um, he has managed to replicate the Tide Hunter though, so he can jump himself out, but waves over the top, picks up the Tide Hunter, now focuses on the big, big carry CM, uh, who pops off a magic one charge to try to keep himself alive. Luna comes in, pops the ulti, Puck cops the entire brunt of it as well, and even then Windrunner cops off a, off a uh, random uh, lucent beam, and that uh, looks like a chicken morphling bl getting blasted, waves himself out of trouble. Was a little bit too close there for a CM Nova to come off. Power shot over the top two, just trying to uh, discourage the Scourge from pushing this out any further. Uh, but 19 to 13 is where we is, and the Scourge will fall themselves back here uh, with towers to actually defend. TP going in towards the mid lane, that should be uh, CM uh, on the back of that one, uh, retreating himself in. Probably should have gone towards the top to help push that one out and let Lion deal with the, bot deal with the mid, but hey, 13 to 19 is where we're going to sit after that last battle.
the line also we, we see on his item both uh, he picked up an, uh, an ogre axe so he will be going for a BKB so he can blink in safely and disable his targets well actually one target that's what line does controlling one target then bring it down before it Wicked sick line till now. That's uh, he, he didn't die, and it's a very very good play from G indeed. Yeah, it looks like um, it's a bit of catch up work happening here. Let's look, look at Zven. It's like, I'm actually a little bit worried about Zven right now. Zven's been killed so many damn times. He's got belt of uh, giant strength as well as boots and a wand. And that's literally the extent of his items. There's no like Puck is now the full on playmaker. Yeah, and you oh. do see it. Sven even has trouble trying to jungle because you basically can't. Currently, DTS are in control. Yeah, DTS. You know, also, uh, she 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 had BKB uh, a BKB last fight, but she didn't pop it yet because it wasn't needed. Yeah, this is. Ooh, that's like a yeah mech, mech up on wind. Bit of farm happening around. Uh, that's the tree we're sitting for the moment. Uh, well, both teams just like, yep, we're just going to wait for our next big engagement. What have we got? We've got Mech on Windrunner, Mech on Pugna. Uh, Stout Shield, Planeswalker's Cloak on top of him as well. Uh, ooh, Lion's moving himself around the back of an Invis, looking for someone to actually gank off here. He's uh, going to have a bit of a, uh, a catch of Windrunner's eye just there. But I don't think that's who he's after. He's straight after Smask, if he can get it. Zven is there as well. And uh, Lion, when his Invis runs out, blinked himself straight in front of the eyes of Zven. And, um, well, he's not going to be happy with that one, too. So, uh, looks like, uh, actually, Tidehunter uh, managing to find a link off here. Or, well, I should say, it's going to be the other way around if the uh, Sentinel team decides to turn around and fight this one. Uh, not going to happen, though. One replica. Actually, it's an illusion being sent off here. So, uh, looks like uh, Line has picked up that 22-minute uh, illusion rune on the bottom lane. And uh, sending them around here. So, uh, keep your eyes open, boys and girls. Uh, the fight's still not going to come to the walls of the doorstep. Uh, even then, looks like look at even that ward from Man A just watching to see if they're going to get ganked um, on the defense of that tier two tower in the middle lane. Which I'm pretty sure, as you're looking at the movements now, slash, it's about to happen. I do hope so. It will be a little bit more exciting, certainly. BKB and uh, Hammer will dominate our one Luna. Uh, did she dominate a creep? Because I'm not seeing any. any no, I don't think she got anything at the moment. Uh, she was killing the creeps just before, him, but didn't decide to dominate it. Um, oh, when we're saying dominate crit, we don't mean with uh, whips and everything else. As in comes out of the middle lane, Pugna Ward is up currently, trying to just trying to demolish his crit weight before he gets anywhere near it. Ravage goes off too. Link gets blasted from the side, but the more important thing is Lion is pulling himself down very, very low. Magic one charges keep Wish Doctor alive right now, but the corner side of the Puck Ulti, and G actually overextend himself and dies right now, but the Lunar Ulti will make up for this one, really hitting on top of OJ. He does take a fall very, very fast. There was that BKB that did pop off. Um, but the Sentinel side will be easily able to actually hold this lane off right now. And um, DTS know that too. They're TPing themselves out towards different lanes and uh, retreating from that battle. They did not mean to lose line that fast. I think Wish Doctor did pretty damn well as well to keep himself alive during that one. And I should say, 23 minute Manta style comes out from Morphling too. So this is not opting for a Linking Sphere against a Lion? Not sure. Well, man, so suppose, suppose you got three to hit as opposed to, as opposed to one. <laughs> now, I'm looking on the brighter side here. Lincoln Sphere is definitely the item of choice always, but he is pretty far behind, like 20, 24, um, 24 minutes into the game, and he's popped up a Manta. He still needs that extra damage, attack speed, and the rest of it, too, to keep himself in the middle of it. So maybe that's just what he wants to go. On the other hand, that was a fail engagement by DDS, to be honest. Yeah. That was bad coordination. Line was coming in from behind, but Tight Hunter already threw his ulti in, in, in the front line, so Line didn't take profit. From it. He tried to bring down Witch Doctor, but he didn't even uh, succeed in doing so. Mm. It's actually, so it's in this case, I think it was a gainer, uh, since, they, since they couldn't push a tower uh, ever. I can't actually compare so, uh, Tight Hunter's ulti to Enigma's ulti right now, because like when Enigma's ulti goes down, then it's just like, oh, hang on, we've got ourselves an opening. And I'm pretty sure any just eyes lit up like a Christmas tree saying, hey, Lion blinked in. Oh, this is so ours. Uh, and just basically went for it. But uh, didn't happen. Well, it, it didn't happen the way DTS planned it. But that title to ulti, it's like, what's Dread, Dread now moving himself up towards the front lines now? I'm glad he's got a little bit of extra support there in the middle lane. Um, but until his ulti comes back up again, which is another 19, 18 seconds off 
uh, from cooldown. They're not going to initiate, and uh, NE should know this as well. The only question they've got for themselves is right now, how long is it until that Titan ulti is up? And Puck's in a go at Puck illusory orbs over the top, and then and then Ulti's right on top, but Lion is there in support. Finger goes off, and we've already lost him. Titan comes in towards the middle of it. Nan comes a Ravage, only just off cooldown. It must have been, and it has just completely set DTS up right now. Sven's gone down. Shackle is holding Titan in place, except Windrun is not getting the hits up the hill he wants. Double Sun goes through from the Impal. Splash on top of Link. Even then, he tried to pop off Windrun, and he gets down by the Ward, the Pugden Ward from the high side and uh, Lion now moving himself back in towards that mid lane. T2 Tower died in the middle of that engagement too and uh, I'm pretty sure that's the way DTS saw that engagement going uh, unlike the last time when it was not the way they, they saw it going. Yeah that was definitely a better thing but on the other hand I do think that it was just mis miscalculation by oh, in this case. Top, they, 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 they decided to go. Morphling just managing to wave himself out of trouble. Um, even though I think that's more of a distraction from DTS. Actually, Dredge should go down here. Shackle will hold him in place. T2 Tower has taken a fall. Morphling with the last hit. And uh, they leave Dread for dead. And uh, we'll try and form themselves back. Will they actually have enough time? Bouncing stun will come. Hits, hits off the back of one. Doesn't get off the Dredge of it. BKB pops ulti as well. Morphling could catch himself out of trouble here. There's a lot of heroes there from the, from the Sentinel to actually take the damage off. And Sven runs right in tight inside of Light. Not the best thing he could have done. Um, does actually die off the edge of that one. Now Lion comes in. Blind Impale doesn't get it up the high ground. And uh, it is 16 and 23. He was thinking about blinking in over the top of that one too, but Morphling would go out. If that Impal hit, oh, he does blink up, um, but not in time. And Morphling does manage to escape off, uses his Impal to farm up instead. And uh, that's where it should actually end. Apart from Pugner and Puck actually having a bit of a duel here on the bottom lane, Vampire falling himself back here, while Puck, with that blink dagger, able to initiate very, very easily, as well as escape if need be. And uh, that is 16 to 23 when all the dust manages to settle. That was a beautiful shackle shot from Link, I gotta say that. He shackled, he targeted the creep and speculated on hitting the Titan who was retreating, just retaking others off the tower. On the other hand, that was not a very smart move by Dread, to be honest, to get uh, tower, tower focus. So he right clicked the Morphling while he was standing in tower range, so the tower switched targets to him. Which made him vulnerable. And at the same point, Titan, he wasn't even full HP. He was like around half HP. And then then decided to, to right click Morphling while um, just being hit by the tower all the time. That's uh, what cost him and cost him his life. Yeah, and um, just one more mistake, which we have been adding a hell of a lot to, uh, to a lot of matches we've been seeing of late. Especially from the teams which, like DTS, who have taken a bit of a change to their lineup. Um, just it's just one of those things where you just go, you know what? This is something's not working quite right. A couple of mistakes, the chinks in the armor coming out, and uh, it looks like Lion is currently watching all four of the Sentinel heroes running around the back of an Invis. He can blink himself away if anything goes uh, troublesome right now, but uh, no wars keeping an eye on him, and uh, he will actually be fine. But the four heroes from the Sentinel side now dusting themselves up. Tied under getting done, he actually gets uh, blocked here, but Ravish does get off in time, catches the entire enemy side off right now. Mandra's popped off from Morphling, who waved himself out of most of that damage there, but it's a little bit too late. Enny has taken a lot of damage, Shackle goes off on double A, CM should take a fall off from this one. Decrepify saving him, but actually uh, dooming him in the end with Morphling waving over the top there, but big, big blast coming right over the top from Vampire, and Puck blinked himself out just in time too. The blast came in, the nether blast. Uh, from Pugna, Morphling replicates himself up and the attacks actually follow him up the high ground and uh, with 200 HP he is moving as fast as he's possibly got and uh, one lucid beam was enough to actually get it and uh, it is the war from DTS giving him the vision to actually do so and uh, that is a big big kill to actually pull off the end there but Puck very very uh, sneaky and uh, slithery bastard to get himself away from what should have been a death and now he comes in towards that bottom lane to try and defend off as well which he won't be able to do by himself. Wish not to risk their support here, Slash, but uh, they will only be able to deny. Actually, no, Blink! Blink from G comes in. He's managed to catch Puck off right now. Face Shift should be able to get himself back out of that one, which it does so successfully. Um, but that could have spelt disaster there. But <laughs> escape mechanism, Puck. He's got the Blink as well as an Orb. He's very, very hard to kill with that. 
that's what a puck is all about. He is squishy if caught 